Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shad, Bahashem, Makar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, of great millstone, preaching this word, truth and sincerely. Shalom to the Hakim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching this word, truth and sincerely. And shalom to the Hakim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching his word, truthfully, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. And I say shalom to the Hakim out there. And this is uh, another quick sit down lesson on this uh, March the 29th, 2022, on this um, Tuesday night. And the title of this uh, quick sit down lesson is going to be for this uh, Tuesday night. One day shall say peace and safety. Southern description come upon them. And this is a news article from uh, airnews.com. And the highlight of this news article, and it reads from airnews.com, and it says, Coalition halts military actions in Yemen. The coalition uh, said it will take all steps and measures to make the ceasefire a success. It says decisions comes ahead of the holy month of Ramadan. The ceasefire will begin at 6 a.m. on Wednesday. And this was published on March the 29th, 2022, uh, updated 12 seconds ago. It says the, uh, the coalition to restore legitimacy in Yemen announced on Tuesday that it will stop all military activities in Yemen starting Wednesday, March 30 at 6 a.m. This comes uh, in a response to the request of the Gulf Cooperation Council Secretary General in support of the effort and the uh, evildoers to reach in conversation of sustainable political solution to end the uh, Yemen crisis, the coalition said in a statement. The coalition also said it will make all steps, measures to make the ceasefire a success to create appropriate, appropriate conditions and a positive environment during uh, the month of Ramadan to make peace. It says, our, Salaki, our position is formed in support of the legitimate uh, Yemen government and all its uh, political stands and measures and we affirm our stands with the Yemen people to achieve their aspirations and build their state in a way that achieves security and prosperity. The coalition further said on Friday the Iran-backed military attacked the Aramco oil storage facility in Jeddah which is Saudi Arabia causing a fire. The coalition announced later that the uh, fire and the two tanks at the North Jadot oil facility has been brought under control and there were no casualties. Saudi Arabia said after those attacks that it will bear no responsibility for any shortages of global oil supplies caused by the Houthis attack. The North Jadot plant stores Diesel, gasoline, and jet fuel for the use in the city is accounts for all. I mean, for over a quarter of Saudi's uh, Arabia's supplies, and also provide fuel for a destination plant. Last week, prior to the attack, a Saudi's defense force destroyed seven drones in a missile launch by the Houthi targeting the southern part of the kingdom. The attacks deliberately targeting civilian areas and energy installations, the coalition said, and threatening both regional and international security. These attacks were condemned by the countries and organizations from around the world. You know, when it goes into, you know, since they had this, uh, uh, the military action, yeah, they they halted it 
to restore legitimacy. And I believe the ceasefire is going to start in Yemen uh, around about like 6 a.m. in the morning on March the 30th. So, you know, that goes into when well, they shall say peace and safety, then some destruction come upon them. You know, I'm going to bring that scripture out. And this is the book of First Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come upon them as they travail upon a woman with a trial, and they shall not escape. Right. It doesn't matter if you come with these, especially where well, you had these uh, nations having conflict with each other for a very long time, you know, since 2014 and 2015, I believe, all the way until now. You know, with the Iranian Houthi rebels uh, going at it with uh, Saudi Arabia and the United States uh, back allies with Saudi Arabia. So I so expect to see when this ceasefire is over with, you know, they doing it in solidarity into the holy month of the so-called holy month of Ramadan or whatever. So I uh, expect to see, you know, these uh, two different these two nations of people continue to go at it with each other. They're going to still clash it out with each other. And that goes back into the uh, First Thessalonians 5 verse 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, sudden destruction shall come upon them, you know. Just like similar to the uh, uh, same similar uh, similarities with the uh, Palestinian and uh, and uh, Israeli thing, you know, they, uh, those two different nations of people going at it with each other, you know, and the violence, because I did a video on that, or that Ishmaelite, uh, went around, uh, the Orthodox Small Hatter's neighborhood, and he had a long assault rifle, and he just started shooting at randomly of, uh, at Israeli people in, uh, Small Hatter's as well, too. And then, you know, uh, the UN, you know, they're trying to have uh, uh, peace treaties between the two different nations of people. Which, even, even, even if they do come with some type of peace treaties, with a two-state solution with Palestine and uh, Israel, which is not going to happen. You know, there's going to be so many ceasefire and treaties going to be break against one another because they can't stand one another, you know. Just like the same situation with the uh, Yemen, over there in Yemen, you know. I believe it's the southern part of Yemen. With the uh, Iran back Houthis, like I mentioned before, versus the Saudis Arab coalition, you know. Even if they come with that ceasefire starting March 30th, uh, 6 a.m. Uh, tomorrow, you know. Once the ceasefire is over, they're going to start clashing back at it with each other, you know. Same thing, just like over there in the South China Sea. You know, you got Japan over there. You got the United States over there. You know, you got Taiwan, China over there. So, it, you know, just like, you know, they're trying to calm these uh, tensions, uh, try to come with some type of uh, ceasefire or, or agreement, trying to make peace. You know, it's not going to be no uh, peace. There's going to be times here, you know, they're going to come with solutions and peace. But, you know, that uh, that war type tactic is, is going to continue to increase. You know, the uh, nations arise against nations and wars and rumors of wars, you know, it's going to increase. Doesn't matter how many peace treaties, how many ceasefires of these different nations around the world that's conflict with each, with each other currently, you know, is going to increase. You know, that, that ceasefire is going to be out the window. You know, it's going to be in the garbage can. It's going to be thrown in the trash. And they're going to consistently, constantly uh, go at it with each other. They're going to continue to clash it out. And expect to see 
once the ceasefire is over with with the Houthi with the Houthi rebels, which is an Iran back ally group. They going against the uh, Saudi Arabia Arab coalition. Once this peace treaty is over with, expect to see they're going to continue to clash at it again, you know, and it's going to happen again. Just like many other other nations around the world going against each other as well, too. It's going to continue to be all-out clashes and wars in these last days. doesn't matter how many uh, ceasefires or peace treaties. Those going to be break, and they're going to continue to go back at each other once again, you know. So with that, you know, I hope this uh, quick little sit-down lesson was edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of your high white out shy. Yeah, first and foremost, I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to, to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Wakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, the great millstone, preaching his word, truthfully and sincerely. Shalom to the Aki, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching his word, truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Aki, that be like unto the speckled bird, uh, preaching his word, truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say shalom.